Hey guys, Ghost here. Welcome back to the channel. In one of my most recent videos, we went over graphics settings in Escape from Tarkov, and I recommended that you turn off the post effects, although there can be some benefit to having them on, and that's exactly what I'm going to go over in this video. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe for more content like this, and we're going to get right into it. Alright guys, like I said in the last video I went over my graphics settings and I got a good response to that video. So I want to go ahead and go over the post effects settings as well. I did say in my last video that there would be some frame rate loss due to that, but I don't think it's that big of a deal and I think the difference is negligible at this point. But with that being said, I'm going to go over the graphics settings again and then we're going to move on to the post effects settings and I'll show you the difference between the two. Before we jump into the actual graphic settings, I want to go over a couple things here on this page. As you can see, I do have the auto ram cleaner on, which is definitely necessary, and I'm only using the physical cores. And also, I have my FOV dropped down to 74%. I've heard from a couple of people that it does make a difference with your aiming. If you drop it down by one, if you leave it on 75, you could potentially be missing some of your shots. All right, moving on to the graphics. All right, guys, so here we are at the graphics settings. My screen resolution is at 1440 because that's native to my monitor. If you have a different monitor, you might want to set it accordingly. My screen mode is borderless because I have multiple monitors and I like to switch between them because I have different things running at different times. If you only have one monitor, you're probably going to want to go ahead and set it to full screen. My V-Sync is on and I have my texture quality high, shadow quality high, object LED quality is 2. Overall visibility is 2000, which I think it helps me out sink farther into the distance, which is really important to me. Shadow visibility is down to 40. Anti-aliasing is TAA. Resampling is one times off. HBAO off. SSR off. Anisotropic filtering off. My sharpness is at 1.1. Bobby FPS 60. Game FPS is 120. And all the options at the bottom are unchecked. That's just a quick rundown of what my graphic settings are. It might be a little bit different from my last video, but this is typically what I run with. So now let's go ahead and switch over to the post FX options and see how that looks. All right, guys, here we are in the post FX menu. Obviously to have them enabled, you do need to check the box. I have my brightness set to zero, saturation set to 15, clarity set to 70, colorfulness set to 30, luma sharpen at 50, adaptive sharpen at 30, for my color grading profile, I am using Zabid, and the intensity is set to 30. My colorblind mode is none, and the intensity is zero. Now, I do want to take a minute to actually talk about some of these settings as opposed to just what my settings are. Brightness is one that's a little bit weird because for this current map, I obviously don't need to have it cranked up. It's daytime on woods. You can see perfectly fine with it set to zero. Now, if you go to a match like Interchange, you might get some benefit out of cranking it up between 15 or 20 to see a little bit. You are going to be inside. There are a lot of dark corners, so people could be sitting somewhere you wouldn't even see them with no brightness. So I tend to crank that one up a little bit when I'm in darker areas. Clarity is another one that I really want to focus on. I crank that one up to 70 because when I am outdoors, it helps me see farther. You might get some benefit out of turning that one up as well. All the other ones, I just kind of screwed around with them until I found something that makes sense, except for the color grading. That's one I want to talk about. I've tried all the color profiles, and I went with Zavid, and I set the intensity at 30. That one for me seems to be the most well-rounded, and I really enjoy it. If you guys have a different opinion or a different one works for you, leave a comment down below and we could discuss that. My colorblind mode is obviously off. Some people may need this one on. I have tried them on. And personally, they don't really do much for me, so I just leave it off. So in the video in the background, you can see that I'm just demonstrating that you can do these things in real time. I load it into an offline raid, and you can see that I'm going to turn the post effects on and off, and it will change in real time. I suggest that you do do this in an offline raid, otherwise you risk losing all your gear. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any comments, leave them down below. Or if you want to see me streaming live, I'm over at twitch.tv slash iconfp. I stream five nights a week, so don't be shy and come say hi. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. So take care and enjoy. And don't forget, have a nice one. Bye.